So you may be wondering, where actually are you? Um, I'm on top of the Pokemon Center. These boxes and stuff, I could just jump up with my right on. I thought it was pretty cool that you can actually get on top of these buildings. Also, that weird backwards jump is kind of broken. You seem to go a bit further with it. But that right there is our target, the Poison-type base. Which means that I'm probably going to have to shift my team around a little bit. I think I'll use Pormo primarily, because that's where a lot of my damage is. But Dealing is going to have to go to one side, because Poison is strong against Grass. Same for Fairy, so Dashbun can't really come out to play right now. So it looks like the base I need to follow this whole path to get to. It's kind of in the back of a forest, which is a pretty cool location. We do have a cutscene just as we enter the forest, though. Ah, it's Clive. Yes, that is me. Hi there, Clavel. The name's Clive, please don't forget it. Let's pick up our conversation from where we left off before. Join Starfall to resolve a sticky situation and to find out about the reasons behind Team Star's odd behaviour. Want to know why the students have stopped coming to school? And just like Cassiopeia, I want the team to disband for good. Already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star. I think I'm starting to understand things more clearly. Don't have enough information just yet. And speak with students from the other squads as well. Okay, we can count on Clavel for backup. And off he goes. Right, well, here's the gate to the base. That is a child, a very small child guarding the gate. He wants to see the boss of the Navi squad, Don Atticus. Not to let any outsiders pass this gate. Is it the the boss's brother or something? Let's let's get a little closer. We don't need to say anything yet. We'll just stand right next to them. Here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star newbies would be this much of a chore. Oh, he does me. The kid who picked a fight with Team Star. Exactly. Oh, I kind of wish I hit the prepare to be raided option now. That would have been a lot funnier. Everyone else in the base is still asleep since we were up last night playing video games. Is the kid actually gonna... Wow, the kid is stepping in. I do find it funny just how far back you go for these battles. We've gone like 30 meters away from the gate just for this. Alright then, prepare to fall to my Digimon. Let's begin with a Nuzzle. Good damage, paralysis. Stockpile. So that's going to increase defense. Yep, that's kind of annoying. Head on with the spark next, I guess. I wonder then if it's going to use a... Oh good, we got the full power. I wonder if it's using like a, a swallow and spit strategy. I know that sounds really bad. But there are actually moves, oh, full power again, called Swallow and I think Spit, I, I think that's what it is. Where you stockpile, and every stack of stockpile gives you a stat boost. And then you can either Swallow to heal, or spit the stockpiles out to do damage. It does sound really bad, but in context it makes sense. Anyway, we have a Shrewdal here. Let's nuzzle again just to get the paralysis. That worked out really good for us the first time. Wow, another full para. This is why I thought there was some kind of change to paralysis, where it made it so that every first paralysis move was guaranteed. Because I've been getting so lucky with paralysis this game. Well, anyway, we have beaten the child. Now empty your wallet. Am I alright? Yeah, I'm just picking on this kid. How are you doing, Clive? I was standing watch when I heard a ruckus. Maybe something had happened to you. I had backup this whole time? I mean, he's been kind of useless so far. Not a member of Team Star. I have to see him. Clearly you have your reasons for being here. Ask this boy some questions. Clive is being really creepy. 
but we now have a phone call. I wondered when Cassiopeia would get in touch with us. Poison Crew, the Na'vi Squad. Their boss Atticus designs the outfits for the team. A bit of an eccentric. Can never tell what he's going to do next. Since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many Pokemon as you can until Atticus shuts his face. Okay. Same deal as last time, we're just going to be sending Pokemon out to deal with others in the map, I guess. There is a gimmick all here. I will take its money. All two of its coins. And then let's get started. Seems the folks behind Operation Star Fool are making a move against our base. Shine bright and avenge our teammates. And we need to defeat 13 10 minutes. That's the pretty standard thing we've been doing so far. Alright, well, here we go, I guess. All of these things are going to be poison types, so we'll just have to uh, just send our Pokemon out until we're done with them. Oh, Amoongus is in this game. Amoongus was on one of my favourite teams that I ever built for VGC, which was when we were allowed one Legendary but weren't allowed to Dynamax in Gen 8. So I'm kind of happy to see it's in this game again. And then that should be it. There we go. 30 out of 30. Well, 31 out of 30. We overachieved that one a bit. And of course, there is another car. Why wouldn't there be another car? And that's Atticus. They look like they kind of think they're a ninja or something. I'm a scoundrel now, am I? A villainous wretch. Right, so they're like a, a ninja with a self-righteous sense of justice, I guess. I'm guessing that's why the kid was speaking in a similar manner by the gate. Well, here's Atticus. With a stunky. And I have a Digimon. Who will win? Naught but punishment awaits thee, wretch. A plague on your house. Alright, let's kick it off with Nuzzle then. Paralysis is my friend in this playthrough. Toxic. That's pretty bad. The problem with Toxic of regular poison is that the damage increases for every turn you're in. So you can't exactly push and spam through this. You need to heal the poison. But I'm going to hit it with Spark first. Venoshock. Oh, that does more damage if you're poisoned. And now we're going to faint. Right. Okay, so Atticus has a decent strategy, actually. Well, that didn't take long for us to lose a Pokemon. But at least we got the paralysis off. Let's send in Clodsire now, then. And we can Mud Shot. Sucker Punch hit really hard there for some reason. Dropped its speed, but Sucker Punch is priority, so that doesn't help me. I guess we just have to keep going with Mud Shot. Oh good, we got the Paralysis. Oh, he's sending in the car already. Let's keep in with Clodzire. Oh wait, this is a different Rev of Room. So it is actually a Pokemon. Wait, so what type is this one? I'm gonna guess that it's Steel type and go for Low Kick. Bulldoze. Ah, we're Poison type, that's really gonna hurt, isn't it? Okay, that didn't do very much. I need to switch, though. I need to preserve Clodzire for the big car because it's poison. So I'm going to switch into Quackswab. Iron Head. Okay, well, we resist Steel, so that's good. 
I feel like I want to terastalize here and use Aquacutter. I feel like piling on the damage now is really going to help me in the long run. I could use it on something super effective. I could use it on Pormor who does more damage. But I need damage now. I need to get rid of this thing before it starts using any more speed drops. Otherwise we'll never beat that car, I don't think. Yeah, see, it's faster than it's still already. Okay, there we go. That's good. Um, now I want to Aqua Jet here. I do need to heal. But Aqua Jet will knock this thing out. Okay, there we go. One down. Next up is Muck. We'll stay in, because otherwise we lose our Terastalize. Now, I really need to heal. Okay, Super Potion used. Sludge Wave. I'd need to heal again. These things are hitting very hard. Okay, full health, another sludge wave. Above half health. Okay, good. Aquacutter time. Oh, that's not going to be enough. Yeah, so I need to heal now. I think I'm going to have to use a Hyper Potion. Just so that I can attack next turn, and then Aqua Jet the following turn for a knockout. And then I think it's just the car that's left. So then I can allow Quaxwell to faint, so I can heal up Clodzar. That was a high roll though, so we might be in trouble here. Okay, no, we got a crit. Okay, good. We needed that, we really needed that. So yeah, now it's the car. I think I heal here. I think that's the play. I need to work out how many hits I can take from this thing. Noxious Torque? Okay, I can't take any hits from this thing. Just get some damage in now then. It's faster? Oh god, okay, we're in trouble. I think then we just go for Clod's Iron and then heal as soon as we switch in. Spin out. Okay, that isn't too much damage. And it loses speed. We really needed that. Okay, Mudshot. Yeah, we can take this. I think we're good then. It's dropped its speed four times. That's not a lot of damage on our end, but it looks like I have more than enough super potions to get me through this now. Okay, we're finally in the position that our next Mudshot will take it out. It took ten of them so far. This will be the eleventh. And it is still faster with minus six speed stages. So definitely rigged. You can't outspeed these things, I don't think. And that's it. Down it goes. Beaten by a brown blob. How about that? A year and a half ago. Took a goodly time to produce the required materials. Oh, so that's where Mel's boots came from. The ones she can't actually walk in. Flame Charge was the muse for those particular pieces. Oh, I guess they made everybody's clothes. Okay, fair enough. Let's move on to the next step. Backs into battle training, so we're prepped for Operation Star. Stronger than everyone else in the team, that's what being a boss means. Okay, so now they're all just going to train up. Very hard and soul, but cannot defy the rules. A court must be a bed. Well, we get the badge. And that's it, the poison badge from defeating the poison crew. Bastard me, victory stirred up bitterness. Oh, and here's Clive. 
The little fellow has been dying to speak with you face to face. I only need a moment. Came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy. When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were all able to go to school again. Right, okay. Haven't heard anything from the big boss. Not heard a whisper since that fateful day. So it sounds like Operation Star was like a, a large-scale battle against everybody they didn't like. You trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Okay, we're going to try and find out who they are this time again. Not one of us has met them in the flesh. They're a recluse. It would seem that bullying was to blame. Though their name and face are unknown to us, they're still our precious comrade. Interesting. Don't we also know somebody who only ever speaks to us through the phone? Well, and in person, I guess, if it's the same person I'm thinking of, but... Seems we're one step closer to the truth behind the truancy and the bullying at the academy. No idea about the issues the students are struggling with. Yeah, it is a bit shameful, actually, Clavel, considering you're the director of the academy, that you didn't actually notice things going on in your own walls. Well, that's it for the poison crew, I guess. Let's see if we get a reward for this. Yep, right on cue, there's our phone call. It's me. Atticus's star badge is now yours. Now that the boss has been taken down, the Navi squad stairs are numbered. Now Atticus too. A lot on my mind right now. You've taken down all but two bases. Seems like a good time to let you know what we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star, the one they call the Big Boss. Okay, who are they? Who knows? Defeat them, get them to declare that Team Star's been disbanded, that'll be the end for them. But they never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden. They're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the big boss will finally have to take the stage. We're gonna get PayPal again. How much this time? 7,000. Seems we get 1,000 extra for each base we do. And more TMs as usual. And the supply unit rep should be with us soon. Well, hello again, Penny. Pretty serious phone call. We're right on spec. There's got to be a sandwich somewhere. That mastermind you were talking about, Cassiope has mentioned them to me too. Team Star's founder. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. Yeah, what do you mean? You need your reward. Lots of materials as usual. And she's off. Don't lose to those guys. Seems like something quite heavy was on their mind there. Okay, well next up is the normal gym. The one in Medali. It's very close to Kaskarafa, but I couldn't actually get up there because there was a giant cliff wall in place. And I imagine these uh, big brown bits here are also cliff walls. So I think going to Porto Marinada might actually be the quickest way up, if we just follow across the river here, where the bridges are. Well, here's Medali. Kind of small, actually, considering the size of the buildings. It's like pretty much everybody lives in the same block of flats, and that's it. Well, the gym building's over there. It has what looks like a bus stop over there, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, this is a normal-type gym, so we should be good to go in terms of moves, because we have a few fighting-type moves. I think I'm definitely going to have to go and level up a little bit before I take this on though. And I think we're kind of due devolutions soon. I'll try and save them. And I think I've got some rare candies we can use to level up to trigger evolutions. So I'll show you what those are. And we'll get on with that next time.